Costco haul. And we end up spending $300, kids. I'm sorry, but it's fake. $398.37. Alright guys, let's get into this haul. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a Costco, kind of a little shop with me and a haul. And I'm going to be running through the things that I would typically recommend to pick up at Costco. I have only started shopping there about a year and a half ago. I went there for the first time and I wouldn't say that I go there regularly, but I've been there kind of enough times to have a pretty good look around and to sort of suss out what I think in my opinion are the better deals and the things that you can save a lot of money on. I would not say by any means that I'm a huge Costco shopper. I typically go there for some very specific things and I pick those up each time I'm passing through. If I'm going up the sunny coast, I'll usually stop in and grab the things that I need or if I'm ever going to North Lakes Ikea, I will just pop in and do a little Costco run. So I thought it'd be fun to just run through with you what we picked up on our little Costco trip. $398.37. Not gonna lie, not sure how I ended up spending that much money. Literally when I told my kids we were going to Costco, I said, I wanna end up spending $300, kids. And what did we do? We ended up spending $398.37. But in my defense, that was including a $65 fee for a renewal of membership. For those who aren't familiar with Costco, there's an annual membership of $65 per year that you obviously have to pay. So that is one thing to keep in mind that you obviously would have to use it often enough to, to warrant spending that $65 on membership. And guys, please let me know in the comments below what things you would highly recommend to pick up when you go to Costco. What are your absolute must buys? What are your favorite things to buy? If anyone watching can leave a comment with their experience, if they have purchased meat from Costco in Australia, that's one thing that I've never bought. I would love to know how you found it. I found some new products there actually the last time that I went that are big savers for me and they are great savers because they are quite often out of stock at the regular supermarket. So enough talking, let's just get in and have a look and I will chat you through what I picked up and the things that I think are the biggest money savers going to Costco. So this is just a quick overview and then I'll just pop you back on the tripod and run you through one by one all the things that I picked up and I'll either talk through the prices or I'll pop them up on the screen. All right. In no particular order, we picked up a bulk pack of the little individual serving sizes of the dog food. I usually pick these up from the supermarket just one or two at a time as just backup emergency food just to make sure we've got something always on hand for Freddy to eat in case we ever run out of either his dry food or the chicken that we feed him. We'll just open this up and either mix through a quarter or a half with his dry kibble for his nighttime meal. So I found this to be much, much cheaper than what it is available in the supermarkets, even when the supermarkets are on sale. This Chobani, Chobani oat milk in the six one liter packs was one of my recent finds. So this is the first time I've seen it in this trip to Ikea. This is often out of stock at the supermarket and it is usually around $4.50 to $4.80 per liter. This came in at $19.69. So much cheaper to buy it like this for six than to purchase it at the supermarket and it's just guaranteed you have it. it. Won't be out of stock when Freddy's trying to steal the Costco receipt. And it won't be out of stock anytime that I try and do the grocery shopping for the click and collect order. Now this, these Ajax Eco Wipes are definitely the first thing that I bought that I found to have real significant savings buying them at Costco. They are half the price, I think a bit less actually than half the price of what they retail full price in the supermarket. So at Costco, they are regular price what they are when they are on super special at the supermarket. They very, very rarely come across in the 50% off at my supermarket. I usually shop at Woolworths. So I just grab these whenever I go and it is a four pack. So 400 wipe, four by 110 wipes actually. Um, they are the eco ones. So they're a bit more expensive than regular, but I don't mind paying that little bit extra uh, just for the fact that they are 100% biodegradable compostable and they are made from bamboo. This is a first time purchase from Costco for us, but I noticed that they were much, much cheaper than you can purchase them from the supermarket. These are the 24 pack of Golden Circle Golden Pash. The kids love these and coming into summer, these are a must have just to put them in the freezer and just to use them as freezer bricks for their lunchbox, just to make sure that everything stays nice and food safe in their lunchbox. 
Um, next up we have 12 individual serving sizes of coconut water. I love my smoothies and I love making them on a coconut water base, but I don't make them every day. So I don't always necessarily have like the justification to buy the big one liter size coconut waters because I might not use, you know, a liter quickly enough to be able to use it all up while it's still fresh. So I find that these individual serving sizes, which are 330 mils, I just use one whole one in the smoothie and that just is enough to make one or sometimes I can split it out and make two out of them. But it's just much more convenient because I know that I will be guaranteed to use the whole serve, serving packet rather than to purchase the one liter and then have some leftover that eventually gets discarded because it's not being used. Next up, I picked up this big size of the Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. This is the 946 ml, so almost a litre. So it's definitely much bigger than the ones that you can buy in the supermarket. And this big size at Costco is cheaper than the regular size that you can buy at the supermarket. This is definitely a must pick up every time we go to Costco. Same thing goes with these double big huge size tomato ketchup. We always love the Heinz tomato ketchup brand. And these, again, the big one litre size. They are cheaper than even when they are on super sale at the supermarket. So I always definitely pick these up. Definitely a no brainer for us because these can just sit in the pantry and they don't expire or don't go off. These gum, again, it is something that we go through all the time. If I were to buy these at the, you know, the convenience store or the petrol station or anywhere, they're $5 per packet. So it's definitely cheaper to pick them up. Six pack, they will just sit in the pantry, they don't go off, and that way I am never out of gum and I'm always buying it at a really good price. This is the first time that I've bought the one kilo size Kewpie mayonnaise, but it is a huge saving to buy it at Costco compared to the supermarket, so I will definitely be picking this up uh, in future. The one thing that I love about Kewpie, well, besides the taste, because Kewpie mayonnaise is amazing, I love the fact that it's so squishy and a pliable container so that you can literally squeeze every last drop out of these squeezy containers. The thing that I don't like about you know mayo that comes in this kind of like hard container is that you're often left with so much product left in the container that you just can't get out. But with this one, it's so super pliable that when you use it, you just like literally squeeze it and you can roll it and you can get and you can get every last drop of that out. So definitely recommend picking up the QP mayonnaise. And if you haven't tried it, try it because it is delicious. Now, if you watched a video of mine, I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks ago, I tried these shiitake mushroom crisps and I am literally obsessed with these. And I nearly had a heart attack when I saw these at Costco uh, because they're kind of tricky sometimes to find at Coles or the local uh, supermarket or grocery store. But I saw these and these are much, much cheaper to buy at Costco. So I definitely recommend one, trying them because they're so delicious. It's so strange. It's like a dried mushroom, which sounds disgusting, but it has the weirdest texture. It's kind of like really crispy, like honeycomb, but like a savory taste. It doesn't really taste mushroomy. It just tastes like that kind of umami, really nice savory flavor. And the strange honeycomby type consistency, totally weird, but very, very, very addictive. Now, I let my kids choose two things each. I kind of said, go for maybe like one savory, one sweet thing. Um, and they could just have free reign and choose whatever they wanted uh, because that stops them from like just throwing things in the trolley or asking for a thousand things. I just say, you've got a choice of two things. You can make your two choices. But once you've chosen two things, that's it. So if you're going through Costco and you've already picked your two things and you see something else, you've got to decide out of those two things that are already in the trolley, which one you want to get rid of because you can only pick two things. So... They picked, and I think they kind of just went in and they picked four between them, so that was very smart of them. Uh, this one, Swiss Miss Marshmallow Mix chocolates. They've never had them. I used to have these when I was a kid a few times, and I remember them being like a super, super sweet treat. So I was like, yeah, definitely get them and try them once, at least once. I don't know, there's just something about it. It's just super creamy and super sweet um, hot chocolate that's unlike any other kind of hot chocolate that you can buy. Uh, it's probably packed with sugar and really terrible for you, but I think for like a sweet treat that's not too, too bad, this is a pretty decent option. And I did notice that they had the big tin of Swiss Miss hot chocolate. So obviously it's not in the sachets and it doesn't come with the marshmallows, but you can easily buy these little marshmallows separately. We usually have them on hand here anyway. So I think for an even more affordable option, it would be to buy the Swiss Miss in the big tin 
and just use that to make your hot chocolate with and then just purchase the marshmallows separately but this was a good buy and it was a good find and the kids have obviously oh, already snuck in actually I had one too um, and they are obsessed they absolutely love it the next thing that Riley picked he is absolutely obsessed with these you know when you go to a hotel and you have a buffet breakfast and they've got like the individual packs of cereal he's totally obsessed with those and also he eats like it's like a tiny sparrow amount of food at any one sitting typically sometimes he'll have a massive appetite and he will eat more than me but typically and especially at breakfast time he doesn't have a huge appetite so these smaller size servings are perfect because I tell him if he wants to buy it he's got to eat the whole packet and he's got to eat the whole serving that comes into his bowl so it gives him a bit of variety it's definitely a more expensive way to purchase cereal than to buy it in a big bulk box but to be able to have the variety and then to have it like pre-portioned and pre-packaged as a one-off treat, you can definitely have it. Now for the other sweet treat that they picked were these crispy coconut rolls. Jake said he's tried these before and he loves them. He picked these and he definitely said that you'll love them, mom. They are absolutely delicious. So we're gonna give these a go. I don't know if these are more expensive or not because I've never seen them in the stores and I've never tried them. So I can't say if these are a big saving, but it's an interesting thing to try. The next thing that we picked up that was a big saver from the supermarkets is this multi-pack of chips. This is obviously for the kids' school lunches, but it's also for if they want to have some chips maybe like on a Friday night watching movies or something. I think it's maybe sometimes better to have this smaller size where you're limited to just a small portion and a small amount rather than to open a big bag of chips and then you kind of just, you know, before you know it, you finish the whole bag. So even though, you know, it's probably not the greatest having all that extra packaging, for school lunches, it is what it is. You need to have like individual serving sizes. But sometimes I think even for having it at home, um, if you are, you know, watching what you're eating, I think it is sometimes beneficial to have the individual portion serving sizes. Next thing the kids picked, I have for many, many years said, no, we're not buying Fruit Loops in this house. And it's only recently that I've let them buy them. They have had them maybe if we've been at a hotel that's had them on offer or something before, but we typically don't buy Fruit Loops. This was uh, one of the things that they picked and it was this jumbo, how big was it? 1.3 kilogram uh, box of Fruit Loops. Typically for breakfast cereals, we will either go with Weet-Bix or Oats or Sultana brand or maybe Nutrigrain, maybe as a sweet treat, but I typically do not do the sweet uh, sugary cereals. So these two cereals are definitely on the special treat side. Now the next one, more for convenience because to be honest, supermarkets often have toilet paper on super, super special deal, but just for the convenience factor of only having to put it away once, less often having to put it away. We picked up this 48 packet of toilet rolls. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It could be on par with what you could potentially pick it up from the supermarket, but I just thought just for the sake of picking it up while we're here, we needed it, we were almost out. So I thought I will just grab a big bulk pack and if I'm paying the same, if I'm paying slightly less, I don't mind, but it is just a time saver to only have to purchase it once and we've got the space in the bathroom to store it. So that's a good purchase in my opinion. Now the things that I really like from Costco are all the cleaning products and this time I picked up some different brands that I've never tried before. A couple of them, I actually know all three besides the Ajax wipes, um, all three of the detergent items that I picked up are all American brands. So we've got the OxyClean, is that what it's called? OxyClean? So this is like a US version or alternative to Nappy Sand, which is super, super popular in Australia. So the Nappy Sand that I saw there was the three kilo tub and it was $17, $17 I'm pretty sure. And this is the 5.26 kilos and I think it was less than $5. It was $4.96 or something. Um, so this was by far cheaper cost per unit. So we are gonna give this a go, oh my gosh. We're gonna give this a go and see how it turns out and I will let you know how it works. I also picked up this Kirkland. So I think Kirkland is like the generic or the home brand or the Costco brand, If is that right? I don't know. Um, but these are the laundry pods, so laundry detergent pods. So significant savings to what I would normally pay for 
Omo pods, but I'm interested to see how these turn out and how these work. They also had Tide available at Costco and then more of a range of Australian laundry detergents as well. So they had like Surf, I think they had Fab and I think they had BioZet um, and a couple of other Australian detergents, but I just wanted to pick these up to see how they, how they worked because they were such a good price. The next thing that I found that I'm super excited to try is this Dawn Platinum Advanced Power. Obviously, if you, unless you've been living under a rock, you all know that whole Dawn and vinegar shower cleaning hack. Dawn isn't available in our supermarkets or in our grocery stores, so this was a Costco find. Uh, so I am definitely interested to see how this works. Now, this was not as cheap as you can buy the cheapest dishwashing liquid uh, in the grocery store if you buy like in a one liter size. I usually buy the Earth's Choice and I think it's about two, $2 a liter or something like that. So this was slightly more expensive, but it does say it's four times more grease cleaning power with odor elimination. And I just bought it honestly just to try it for that shower cleaning hack. So definitely worth it just to, to give it a try once. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that. Now the next two things that I picked up are seasonal Christmas items and it is these two Lego advent calendars for Christmas time. We got one in the Avengers theme and one in the Harry Potter. So the boys, I'm not gonna choose who gets what. Obviously they saw them, they were in the trolley and they were with me, uh, but they'll just probably share them and open one each. Maybe they can take turns opening one per night for the advent calendar and then they can just share the Lego and minifigures and things and just add it to their Lego collection. But that was a nice find and I think it was a couple of dollars cheaper than I've seen it in, I think I've seen it in Kmart or Target recently, um, but I haven't seen these two. So they were nice finds and the boys are into both Avengers, Marvel Avengers and Harry Potter. So it was a nice thing to pick up for, for them for Christmas. So guys, that about wraps up today's video. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me and finding out what I picked up from Costco. Leave me a comment with all of your favorite Costco must buys and the things that you think you save the most money on. Definitely, if you are going there, I would highly recommend filling up your tank with fuel. That was one of the biggest savers. I think it was just over 30 cents a litre cheaper uh, to purchase the fuel at Costco than it was at my local petrol station. So that was a big, big money saver. <laughs> that honestly almost pays for half of the membership card. No doubt there's definitely some savings to be had. Overall, I don't think you could do your regular shop at Costco unless you have a huge family and you have a massive pantry or a massive place to be able to store all of that bulk produce. Massive pantry, massive fridge, big chest freezer to be able to make the most of purchasing everything in bulk. I definitely think that I will be going there more often, maybe once a month or once every six weeks, just to be able to make sure that I make the most of paying that $65 membership fee. And then just picking up all those big bulk items that we would typically buy anyway. I don't think there's massive savings to be had on every item that they sell, but I think if you pick and choose like anything, um, you can really find some really, really good bargains.
did enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it's great feedback from, lets me know that you like this type of content and to make more videos like this if you haven't already be sure to subscribe before you go hang out and watch a few more videos i will leave some linked in the description that i think you'll enjoy have a fabulous day and as always i will see you in the next video bye everyone i'm somewhere in the middle try to find myself again but life is one big red